Alright, uh, welcome back. Today we're going to start adding some sounds to our game. So, to do this, I've provided a few sounds, but you're, you can always find some sounds yourself. Um, OpenGameArt.org has quite a few sounds available. Um, the Unity Asset Store also has quite a few free sounds that you can use. So, uh, if you don't want to use the sounds that I'm using, feel free to use your own. The only thing I would say is just the same thing with the art, beware of copyright, don't use anything that you do not have the right to use. So first thing I'm going to do is in my assets folder here, I'm going to make a new folder for the sounds. So I'm going to right click, choose create, I'm going to create a folder, and this is for sounds. Um, now I'm going to find the sounds that I have here, um, and these are the three. I'll bring them in here so you guys can see them. Um, I'm just going to pull them directly into that sounds folder. It's going to take a second for Unity to think about this. Now, if you're unaware, sounds are one of the places where your project can get really big really fast. For example, um, let's see, this one is 6 megabytes on its own, and that's just for the sound. If you import it without doing any kind of uh, compression, it's going to take up at least that much space. So you've just added six megabytes to your your project file or your file size. So since we're doing this on Android, I'm going to choose. I'm actually going to do this for all three of these. Um, so I'm going to choose my sounds. I'm going to override for Android, and I'm going to keep them compressed in memory. And my quality, I'm going to go down to about sixty since these are really really simple. Um, sounds, and I'm going to click Apply. Um, so now their imported size is 1 megabyte, whereas their original size is 7.3. Um, yep, and I think that's good. So now in my, I can actually listen to these if you want to, if I highlight the sound and hit play. So there's one I'm using. That's super loud, sorry. Um, background that we're going to have. And then there's, so we have two different, I kind of like that, but it's super long. And we have this one. I kind of like both of those as like little popping sounds. So in my hierarchy here, I'm going to right click, I'm going to create an empty object, and I'm going to call this sound manager. And I'm going to parent that to the board object. Um, I'm also going to add a few components to this here, but before I do that, I'm going to pull each of these sounds into my project. So, Peer Online, Packus World, and Pop. Now, I'm going to choose all three of these. I'm going to make sure that they do not play on Awake, because I don't want them to. I just want them to be objects in the world. I'm also going to take these and parent them to the Sound Manager. Alright, now I'm going to create a new script, which is going to be called, you guessed it, Sound Manager. So in my scripts folder, right click, new C Sharp script, Sound Manager, and let's open this up in Visual Studio. So what I want to do here is I want to create references to those two sounds. So the first one, the background music, I can just have that play on its own. I don't need to call that from the script. So this Pat Kiss World, I'm going to turn Play on Awake back on for this, and I'm also going to turn on Loop. That means that it's automatically going to loop, and this is a looping piece of music that I found for free. Um, I forget where, but I'll try to credit them in the description down below. Um, but I definitely don't want these to turn on when I load. So instead, in here, I'm going to make a couple references first. I'm going to, actually, I guess I just need to make one reference. And that's going to be public audio clip. And I'm going to put it in um, square braces because it's going to be an array. And I'm going to call this um, destroy noise. All right. And I can just go ahead and get rid of start and update because I don't need those and I'm going to pop back in Unity. I'm going to check out my sound manager, add my sound manager script to it as soon as everything is ready to go. Again, I'm 
too impatient. Okay, once those are on there, I have my destroy noises. I'm going to set my size to 2. And I'm going to add them from... Is it audio clip or audio source that I want? I always get those two confused. I think I wanted audio source. So let me save my script, jump back in here. Oh, again, I'm impatient. <sighs> I have to wait 30 seconds. Okay, so yeah, it's audio source I wanted, sorry. So I got my appear online and I got my pop. I'm gonna create a little method in here, which I'm gonna make public. So this is public uh, void play random no or we'll do specific destroy noise and this is going to be called from the board method whenever we destroy a piece which is why I'm making it public first I'm going to choose a random number choose a random number so int clip to play is equal to random dot range between zero and destroy noise dot length. And then I'm going to play that clip. So I'm gonna do destroy noise clip to play dot play. All right. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to pop back into my board script here, and I'm going to make a reference to my sound manager. And this is getting super messy in here, so I might want to clean this up too. So private sound manager, I'll call it sound manager, because I'm super creative. And then I'll complete that reference down here. Sound manager is find object of type sound manager all right and then when i destroy my tiles or not my tile my dot whatever it is i'm gonna go down here do do do, do. destroy matches at being object particle so might as well do it where the particle is being instantiated i'm going to check to see uh does the sound manager exist. So if sound manager is not null, then I'm going to do sound manager dot play random destroy noise. All right, cool. So popping back into Unity here, um, I'll let that compile. And this time I will be patient, I promise. I'll hit play, and we'll see what our sounds look like. So we got our background noise playing, and there we go. It's probably a little quiet, but it's not that bad actually. So we just added sound to our project here. It kind of adds a lot. I play every single game I play on my phone without sound, um, but I do realize how much it adds to a project to have sound on it, how much more complete it feels when you have some sound. So, all right. Um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you learned anything new. You can give me a thumbs up if you didn't learn anything new. That's fine too. Um, you can leave any questions in the description down below. Uh, I have also in the description down below, I have a link to my Twitter account, my Discord channel, where I'm chatting pretty much every day, where you can ask me questions or just talk about programming in general. And um, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I also have the link to the Git with the, pro the newest version of the project down below. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask and have yourselves a wonderful day.